Welcome back to Pac Manufactured, a series all about Pac Man clones. In this episode, you're looking at Pac Man with the hyphen, so yeah, the exact same name as the original arcade game, uh, developed by Isenzo and released in 2016 for the PC. Um, this is bloody well done. Uh, this is probably the closest we've had to the actual Pac Man arcade game, but developed entirely by the ground up by a bedroom coder. Um, so yeah, you're not looking at an emulation or anything like that. This is a brand new development um, and it is the closest thing to actual Pac-Man that we've actually played on this channel. Incredibly well done. Uh, it, it handles exactly as you'd expect it to. The mechanics are exactly the same. AI is good. Um, controls are great. It's, it's, it's almost spot on. Uh, absolutely really well done. The only thing that's noticeably different is uh, the sound that plays when the ghosts are sort of in scare mode when you're powered up um, isn't there. Just a short oversight, that one, to be honest with you. And even though um, the side of the maze is sort of cut off in our capture, it's actually not like that. You can see the full maze in the, in the proper thing. I just, uh, it was difficult, you know, cropping things down. Um, so yeah, incredibly well done uh, version of Pac-Man. You know, this is really accurate exactly plays exactly as you'd expect it to um can't really complain to be honest with you uh the only thing i'd say is that you know this is very vanilla there's nothing really uh, interesting going on there's no interest in um power-ups or gimmicks to it that it has to its uh, to its name um but there is quite a major problem with this which really does let it down is that when you get to the intermission after the first two stages the game completely resets and takes you back to stage one. It resets your high score, um, the ghosts aren't as aggressive, you don't have a, a shorter time with the power pill, um, yeah, it completely resets the game to the first stage. So you can't actually progress <laughs> or even set a high score if you get past the second, uh, second stage. Uh, so that's quite a large oversight and kind of kills any fun that you're going to have with this, unfortunately. Because, uh, yeah, you can't really set high scores, you can't progress throughout the game. It really does sort of kill it in its tracks, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame, considering how well this thing is put together. So, yeah, um, a bittersweet one, that. Bit of a shame, really. 